Hello everyone, happy Saturday. So as you guys know already, every Saturday I do PR unboxings where I show you guys what's new this week in new launches that I get from brands. So make sure you comment down below what you're most excited about, what you love, and then also give the video a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so first off, I got this really cute box right here and it says, this package is happy to see you too. And then it also has a winky face. <laughs> underneath it. I thought that was a really cute sticker. Okay, so this package is from Le Monde Gourmand. It says that Le Monde Gourmand is expanding. Now you can experience our top-selling addictive fragrance and our new candles at Le Jumbo EDPs and hand cream plus gloss bundles. Ooh, this is so cool. Okay, so this is a brand just in case if I am butchering it. My watch is going off like crazy but anyways so we have their creme vanille this is the Le jumbo eau de parfum so let's go ahead and smell this real quick oh this smells so good oh you guys okay so this scent is more flirty and more fruity so if you like that kind of like the more juicy like oh i'm gonna sneeze oh Every single time I spray perfume, I sneeze. But this one has a very flirty, girly scent to it. Like these are actually kind of my favorite scents to wear for every day, even for date nights. Like I just love more of the fruity, flirty ones. Although I do like that spice one that I opened up from YSL. I've been wearing that one at night now. But this one smells amazing. I love that. And then next up, we have the hydrating lip gloss right here. It looks like this. Ooh. So it's one of the squeezy tubes. I would put it on my lips right now. Actually, I just like, I don't wanna get, here, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put some on my finger, so, cause I hate getting this thing, the applicator with lipstick. Oh, that's nice. That is really nice. Ooh, I like the sheen that it put on my lips too. And it's not sticky or thick either. And it actually has a really nice scent. It has a coconut scent to it. Oh, Le, Le De Coco. So that's probably, it's got like a coconut scent to it. And then we also have the hand cream, which is, look at their packaging. I love this. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. I'm just having so much fun just opening everything up right now and just trying it. So let's try this one out. It's a nice thick cream. You guys remember, if you remember my Ipsy days, I loved in the Ipsy glam bags when I got hand creams. It's like they were my favorite because, oh, I love hand creams. I need to start using them more often. I used to use them religiously. I'm not using them as much anymore and I really should because it really helps keep your keep your hands looking youthful. Like your hands can really show your age. So that's really nice. Ooh, I like that one. So that's a good hand cream. And then we also have roller balls right here, which there's like, look at you guys. There's on different sides. I think these are roller balls. Yeah, these are Parfums Day Voyage. So you have all the different scents in here. This is amazing. This would be a great little gift bag. So it's a spray per spray gift set. Ah, oh, I love that. So you got tons in there, which is awesome. You could even, like if you were doing baskets for people, you could buy one of those and take one of them and put them in each basket. That's a good way to like kind of like spread it apart and use it for multiple gifts. And then they also have the candle here, which is also just absolutely beautiful. This came in perfect time because I actually just ran out of my candle in my bedroom. So I need to get another one. Oh, you know what this scent? I can't describe what the scent is. It's a violet fig, so and it has a musk and a wood. So this one I feel like honestly would probably be better in a bathroom, but I'm gonna burn it and try my bedroom and see how I like it. If not, if I like it more for a bathroom, then I'll move it to my downstairs bathroom in my, like the powder room. That is amazing. Thank you so much, Le Monde Gourmand. I've never heard of them before, so I really appreciate it. The stuff is really nice and luxurious. So I will link it down below if you guys wanna take a closer look at everything. But I definitely suggest like this little thing. I think this is awesome right here. And then the scent for this one, which is, this is Creme Vanilla, amazing. Smells amazing, so definitely recommend that one. Next up is a package from Derma E, and they sent over the Rose Hip and Almond Anti-Aging Shea Body Lotion. This would be amazing for the skin. I wonder how it smells too. Let's see. Oh my God, my arms are really dry, you guys. Like so dry, they look scaly. Doesn't really have a scent to it. I feel like when I put it on myself, I actually could like smell my tanner more. 
So it doesn't have like a really a scent to it, but it definitely is moisturizing. So no scent, but it's moisturizing and actually made my, oh my God, yeah, it made my arms look a lot better. Ooh, I like it too, because one thing that I've been having problems with body butters, I usually use them at night, is because they, they're not like, la some of them just don't really, like as much as you rub it in, it's just not getting into the skin. It like literally just sits there and just looks white all over you. This one actually rubs into the skin. So that's really nice. So I like that. Um, I just wish I had more of a more of a scent. I don't really smell anything to it And I always like want a little bit of a scent. So Like the product the formula is nice. I just wish I had more of a scent um, The next thing that I have here is the derma e vitamin c concentrated serum a great little serum I remember even like bailey used this on my skin one time in an old makeup video when she did my makeup and she like Oh my god, she slayed it, it was like the perfect fall makeup. It looked like fall leaves on my eyes. It was beautiful I remember she used this to help prep my skin and it just gave my skin a really beautiful glow. Um, and then we also have the scalp relief treatment, which is tea tree oil, aloe vera herbal blend. This is going to soothe and dry itchy scalp. So that is really nice too. So you just pour this on your scalp. It says clean and effective dermatologist recommended. We are committed to your skin health. Um, but it says formulated with purifying tea tree oil, cooling menthol, this powerful water-based scalp relief serum soothes dry, flaky, itchy scalp. Ooh, it promotes a balanced and hydrated scalp for optimal health. So I like that because this is what it looks like right here. These types of products would be really good, especially if you have extensions, because it's really hard to get in there and clean. So sometimes like my extensions, like even like right there, it can get a little itchy. So this can help soothe that. So I'm going to try this out and I'll let you guys know how this works. You apply it after washing and before styling. Part hair into sections, apply a few drops to each section, massage into the scalp. So I'll let you guys know how this works out for me and like if it leaves a residue or anything like that. Like, you know, if you could feel it. I'll give you guys an update. I know I have some updates on some products that I want to update you guys on like real quick. I need to do some more videos of reviews and stuff and I know all of you guys have been asking. It's just things have been crazy. Um, so basically like right now it's taking up a lot of my time as the podcast, but I wanna give you guys a quick little review in this video of these two products I unboxed a while ago. These are the Paula's Choice. This is their Calm line for normal dry skin. I have normal dry skin. And honestly, like these two products, I'm not the biggest fan of right now. I keep trying them and I just hate the way that my makeup sits on them. And I just feel like it doesn't do a very good job. I don't know why, but I'm just not liking the serum. I'm not liking the moisturizer. I actually just switched back to the vitamin C moisturizer from Paula's Choice. I've been loving that way more. It sits on underneath my makeup way better. This is just not working for me for some reason. I don't know why. It doesn't feel, it says it's supposed to be intensively hydrating and stuff, but it doesn't feel that way at all. Um, to, but this, yeah, these two products just have not been working for me. So I just wanted to update you guys because I'm trying things out. I just don't, I need to sit down and do sp some speed reviews for you. But yeah, those just have not been working for me. So I just wanted to talk about those really quickly to kind of give you guys like a little update in here. All right, so next up is a package from Think. And they sent over, ooh, I love these. Okay, this is perfect. So we have the Think Baby face and body sunscreen that I love. I love doing the stick stuff. We also have some shampoo and body wash here. Oh, this will be nice. We actually need new body wash in the shower right now. So this is perfect. This is aloe and tea leaves. And then this is the shampoo, which is supposed to be active, hydrating, rejuvenating. So we got that. Then we also have a spray sunscreen. And then, oh, these are great. We got some little tubes, refillable tubes for travel. So oh, this would actually be perfect for me for when I, um, we're going to Florida here after Christmas. So that way I don't have to bring, I was like, I had to pack so much stuff for Mexico because I had to bring like, you know, the full size shampoo and conditioners that I use. Now I can just take them and just squeeze them in there and it'll be a lot easier. So thank you so much, Think Baby. We have a package from Amanda Pav Pavillard. And it says, thank you so much for getting your hands on my Radiate, Vo Radiate Volume 1 collection. This project, like all of you, means the world to me. Every element of these products has a special meaning. I want to remind everyone to radiate the things that make them unique. Be the bright version of you. I cannot wait for everyone to use the products and to hear what you think of them. I know that your experience will be just as wonderful as mine as while well creating everything. So let's take a look here. Oh, this is so cute, I love that. And then let's see, so she has Perfect Pop Highlight 
a You Made Me Blush pigment stick, and a Starlight Luminizing Gloss. All right. So the first product that we're going to go into right here is the blush stick because you guys know I love blush. Looks like this. The packaging is super cute. I love that. And I like it how she did this gradient at the top. So this is the blush. Let's rub this in. This might actually, I think this is going to be too dark for me. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that's going to be a little too dark for me. I think what I could do is I could use it as a lip product. I think it's going to be too dark for being a blush. And then we have the Perfect Pop Highlight. It looks like this packaging right here. And then this is the highlight. It's a beautiful gold highlight. Kind of reminds me of Champagne Pop. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. You can even put a little bit up here. Like that. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Oh, so pretty. Okay, I like that. And then we have the Starlight Luminizing Gloss Glow Away. Again, really cute, same packaging with that gradient gold at the top. I think that's stunning. And then I, I don't, again, I don't want to get these applicators. You know what? Let me use my finger. I already had gloss on, so. Okay, this one, you can see it definitely did change a little bit. You could see that it has like a little bit of that gold shimmer to it. I'm going to swatch them on the back of my hand. So this is also really pretty. I think that's going to be really beautiful. Can you see it? I don't know if you can, but I think it's going to be really pretty by itself. So that is stunning. I love the, like the gold in it. That's really pretty. So gorgeous collection. Congratulations, Amanda. Thank you for sending this over to me. I wish you luck with everything. That is awesome. And the highlight and the lip gloss, I am just dying for. I think those were awesome. All right. So next up, I have a package from Patology and they said, thank you for bringing a little extra sparkle to the world. Here's to a new filled warmth and joy. So they sent over, this little box got a little smashed, but it's okay. This is the Best in Snow Moisturizing Hand Foot Mask. Oh my God. I need this. I'm going to put this on my feet tonight because my feet have been going through the ringer with pickleball, you guys. It is so bad. I am having to wrap my toes before I go and play. Like, I, they are so bad right now. So I, this is much needed patology, like so needed. I need also like an exfoliating foot mask too, like really badly. You don't want to see my feet right now. They are not pretty. But anyways, we also have the eye gel travel kit or trial kit. And this is patching all the way. So the trial kit is basically, oh, this is a cute little ornament too. So this is their holiday collection. So in this kit, you get just different eye mask in here. So you get the rose eye gels, you have the bubbly eye gels, the restoring night eyes, the rejuvenating eye gels, and illuminating. Illuminating is actually my favorite ones from these. These are amazing before doing your makeup. Like if you have like a like an evening, like a let's say a holiday party, and you can have some pamper time before you start getting ready, you gotta use these. Really, really good. I also really like the illuminating make face mask one too. I think that one is a perfect skin prep. Um, they also sent over the eye gel trial kit from Serve Chilled. So this one comes with the rose eye gels and then the bubbly ones as well. So those are great. These, I actually stick these in my mini fridge that I actually use. I have like this little fridge, this beauty fridge that I actually use for breast milk with Kinsley. And now I just saved it and I use it for my skincare, like my skin mask and stuff like that. So it's multi-use, it's awesome. Okay, so next up from Grande Cosmetics, they sent over a Lash Vibes sleeping mask right here. Okay, so they sent over this little set right here. Boom. It says first class beauty. It gives your natural lashes and brows a first class upgrade. So basically you have the grand, the grande lash and the grande brow in full size and also the mini size. I am going to try these out. We are going to, my brows are non-existent. So we're definitely going to be trying these out. We're going to see how this actually helps. I know with this type of product, you have to keep using it. You cannot skip. You cannot skip. You got to be consistent. So Maybe I could do like a before picture and like an after picture. 
I mean, you can't really see with my lashes because I wear lash extensions, but I know that a product like this would actually be really good if you have lash extensions because it would make your lashes stronger. So I'm going to try that out, but I'm also really going to try out the brows because I think the brows is something that I definitely need. And you can, I know that if something starts working for my brows, you're going to be able to tell because there's nothing there. I will keep you guys updated. We're going to try this out. I'm going to move this into my bathroom so I can start making it like my nightly routine. Also, I forgot to show that they sent over this really cute little bag here too. Oh my God. Oh, this is gonna be so good for travel. I love that. I wonder if they sell this on the website. It'd be really cool if they did. So I'll look for that too for you guys. But this is a great little set. So thank you so much, Grande Lash, for sending this over. Again, I will give you guys an update on everything on how this works out for me. I gotta use it for like a good month or so straight before I actually, it says based on a 12 week consumer perception study. So yeah, you need to use it for a good amount of time before you can actually like see results. So I will update you guys on that in the, in the future. <laughs> okay, so this next package is from Pharmacy and I know that they also had a really good sell, you guys. My mom just like utilized it big time to get more of the, the cleansing balm and stuff because she loves pharmacy products. But it looks like they launched a new eye cream. It's called Wake Up Honey Eye Cream Brightening Vitamin C. I love vitamin C eye creams. I've been loving the one from Paula's Choice that I've been using. Um, this one is going to improve dark circles, depuff, and smooth fine lines instantly. And it's going to hydrate. It's got a lot of great products, like a lot of great ingredients in it. You can kind of see. Um... It has caffeine, upcycled cranberry peptide, proprietary honey blend, vitamin C, does it all. And then you can also see the results. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that they that the lines changed. So I actually like that because I'm getting those little fine lines like right here. Not fun, not fun at all. So definitely, definitely want to use this. I'm gonna actually open this up now and I'll put this in my everyday makeup bag so I can use this in the morning before I do my makeup but this is what the product, it looks like a little honeycomb. How cute is that? I love that. So awesome. Thank you so much, Pharmacy. Okay, so next up, I got this really cute package from Laura Lee, you guys. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen her in so long. I have not been to events in a long time. I get invited to a few events now. I used to get invited a lot more because I was posting a lot more. It was a lot more in makeup, um, but mom life, you guys, and now mom single life. Anyways, so I haven't been to any because also a lot of them are during the week and it's all the way in LA and it's hard because then I'm gonna have to, I would have to get someone to watch the girls and then not want to drive to LA and then I would have to pay like a few hundred to go and stay in a hotel for the night. So it just doesn't like justify it for me right now. Um, so I haven't been there in a long time, but I miss everyone there. I miss I miss that life. I miss the event life. It was so much fun, but I have not seen Laura in a while. But she sent over, oh, I love his makeup bag. I actually think I'm gonna use this for my, um, I'm gonna use this for my brushes. This is awesome right here. So you can put your brushes in here, which is perfect. And then we also have this in here. Oh, okay, so this is, oh, so brushes, you guys, and I love her brushes. I actually use a few of her brushes already in my everyday routine. So I use her, um, her like I use this really small one for my contour, and then I also use a like a crease one for my crease when I do my eyeshadow. So she sent over a bunch of her brushes to put in the bag. I love this. And then we also have a palette here. Oh, these are nice. So Whimsical Nudes Collection Holiday 22. So this is her Whimsical Nudes palette. It retails for $36. Also, hang on a second. So these brushes are different than the ones I have. So she must've came out with new brushes. <gasps> these are so soft. Oh my gosh. And just look at, here, look at the, they're beautiful. I love the nude. Let's grab a big one so I can show you guys a little bit better. The smaller ones are harder to see on camera. So this is it right here. Look at, look at how pretty these are. These are so well done and they're so freaking soft. I've never felt a brush as soft. So this is the L31. This actually would be really good for like a cream bronzer or a cream blush. I would say more cream bronzer because you can do it like that. It feels good. Oh, I can't wait to use those. And then the palette here. So nicely wrapped, also in bubble wrap. Whimsical nudes, oh, so pretty. Oh, this is beautiful, I love the front cover. And then these are the colors. Oh, how fun. I love it how they did like the whimsical because of the greens in here, that's such a good name for it. Let's go right to this like, oh my God. Look at this green. 
it's got a shift to it too. It's like a, it's got like a little bit of an iridescence. And then we also have like this like forest green. Oh my God, the, you guys, I'm not kidding. The formula is so nice. This is iridescence too. You can see it's got that shift in there. Um, let's grab a, like a matte color to kind of see how this goes. We're going to go to this kind of like rustic brown that I think would be a beautiful like crease shade. And then you guys can kind of see that really pretty right there. Beautiful. And then she's got this gorgeous, oh my God, look at this like olive green. Oh, and then that swatch is really nicely too for a matte. That's great. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a fun one. Maybe... I got to do a gram again. I got to, you guys, I am so scared. Like everyone's like, I want to see a makeup get ready with me. And I think I've talked about this already on a video, but I, I have not watched the one that I filmed back. I just did not feel great about it. And I just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the makeup videos. I just am so scared to film them and post them. It's like weird. It's like I've got, it's like maybe my anxiety. I'm like overthinking everything too much. I think it's just been a hot minute and it's just different. And I don't know. I just got to get back into it. So maybe one of these days I'll muster up the courage to do it. Being honest with you guys, it's just different, but got to get back into makeup. It's fun. It was a nice escape in the past and I loved it. And I got to get back I, I know everyone misses it. I got to get back into it. I got to get back into doing the makeup videos. But I never really was known for makeup tutorials. Like, you, you guys, like, I, I was always known for my reviews. Um, and that's what I really love. So I just got to get, maybe if I get do reviews on, like, you know, one product, maybe that can, like, ease my way back into everything and get my flow again. Um, and then I also really want to do, uh, like, just old YouTube style videos like you know the tags that people used to do I want to do like winter must-haves I think I'm gonna film one of those I miss those types of videos those are the videos I love it's like old style YouTube because I never really was a huge makeup tutorial person I did them but they never performed well because it just wasn't my niche my niche was like reviews and like telling you guys like this product is awesome or this product sucks for this reason and that's what I need to get back to and I need to get my flow again. So we're going to work on it. We're going to work on it. That will be my new year's resolution to kind of find my way back to where I used to be at with videos. And, um, yeah, we'll just, it's a process. It's a process. Okay. So this last package I am really excited for. Oh my goodness. Okay. So it says the salt it's by solid roots. The Holiday Survival Kit, the After Dinner Winner. Solid Roots Family. This is our family. We love games. We play games. We make games. So hello, we are Solid Roots, a real Tulsa, Oklahoma family who makes games that everyone can play, even the family pets. But we'll save those for another time. Being a family of misfits and unique personalities, we know the apprehension many people face around the minefield of touchy subjects that can pop up at Thanksgiving and other holiday get-togethers, especially in recent years. That's why we wanted to share with you a perfect solution. Yes, we're a little biased, but hear us out. It's called Mind the Gap. We refer to it as the after-dinner winner for its ability to create controversy-free fun for all generations. So boomers, Gen Zs, millennials, and Gen Xers all compete to answer pop culture trivia questions from different generations. It's a game where grandma is strutting her stuff as the smartest person in the room, and your teenager's face is suddenly not glued to her phone. But she loves that it is, she is only one with that knows the answers to the Gen Z questions. You guys, this sounds awesome. Oh my god, this sounds like so much fun. So this actually would probably be a really fun game. Uh, Thing to bring. I'm going to bring this with me to Florida because we have multiple generations with Ross's family. Um, and I think they would get a kick out of this because we always play games. Like when we were in Mexico, his mom loves Rummy Q and Uno. So, and the kids love playing it too. So we were playing that after every dinner. So I think this would be an awesome one to play. So first off, they sent over some cooking spoons and spatula here. It says we're a nice and normal family. <laughs> Remember as far as anyone knows. <laughs> and then just here to stir the pot. That is awesome. And then we also have an apron here. Oh, no, no, no. A dish of hand towel. Relax. We're all crazy. It's not a competition. 
and then we've got a cup with a hydrolyte. These are great. These are a little bit like liquid IV. And this cup says this drink pairs well with touchy subjects and difficult relatives. Love it. And then we also have a little board thing that says, I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? I'm gonna give that to Riley. Riley's been doing this whole rolling your eyes thing. And I'm like, girl, no more. No more. I'm gonna find this game. I will link it down below for you guys. It's Mind the Gap, a trivia game for generations. So Boomer, Gen X, Millennial. I'm a Millennial. Um, even Ross is a Millennial too. Because Millennials is like 81 to like 92 or something. I'm 89, he's 81. And um, yeah, and then we have Gen Z here. So this will be so much fun because we also have his like, you know, his younger cousins or nieces and nephews and stuff that would really enjoy this too. Then we have his mom and dad. So this will be so much fun. I have, this is going to be the perfect game. So I really appreciate it. This is going to be a blast, even with my family too. If we can, it's hard to get my family kind of all together and everyone sitting and playing a game because we all have little kids. In Ross's family, he has the youngest kids and his kids are eight and five. So it's a lot easier to be independent than with my family. Right now, we're still like trying to manage the two-year-olds and the one-year-olds, but this will be a blast. So I really appreciate it. Check this out, you guys. I'll have it linked down below. This is two plus players, can take 20 to 60 minutes and ages 10 to boomers. So this is amazing. So thank you so much. I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this PR unboxing. We got some really great products in here that, especially ones that I never even use and also just discovering this brand right here is awesome. So I'll have everything linked down below. Comment down below what you're most excited about. I hope you guys are having a great holiday season. You're not too stressed out with everything. I know it's hectic, it's crazy. I'm like wrapping a little bit every night, but then I'm also like, okay, I gotta work tonight and it's just juggling everything. Holidays are exhausting and hard for many different reasons, but I hope you guys are hanging in there. I love you and I will see you all in my next video. I'm hoping to have a Tuesday video up this week. I haven't posted in the last couple of weeks because things have been crazy, but um, I probably will have a Disney vlog up because um, I'm going to take Riley to Disney. I'm filming early right now, but I'm going to take her to Disney tomorrow. And so I'm going to film it for like our holiday. It's just like our mommy and me time. We need it. I love to give the girls like their one-on-one -on -one time. And especially with Riley at her age right now, she loves it. She just, you know, she needs it. She does such an amazing job at Disney. I don't deal with tantrums with her. I don't deal with any problem with her. She is the best kid to take to Disneyland since she was like two, three years. Well, honestly, every age that she's gone to Disney, she's been a piece of cake. But at like two, three years old, two years old, she could ride majority of like almost every ride there except for Indiana Jones. So she's been riding everything since she was two. She went on Thunder Mountain at two. And so she loves it. She loves Space Mountain. She does all of it. So she is just a blast. And she handles the lines really well too. So I am excited. Our, our magic keys expire in January. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to renew them. Um, but so I really want to enjoy these last times with her if I don't renew it or not. But yeah, I don't know. I'm excited though. But you guys stay tuned. There will most likely be a vlog for that. But I love you all and I will see you guys all again, hopefully in Tuesday's video.